as political appointees and others begin to resign from their current status to contest the 2023 general elections, all eyes are on how those offices would be run in a short term. A legal practitioner, Liberus Oshoma, and a political analyst, Olufemi Lawson, are advocating that those in charge of checks and balances adopt structures to ensure there are no gaps. Our political correspondent, Jacinta Obiuku, takes a look at these issues. There have been contentious positions as regards the constitutionality of Section 8412 of the Electoral Act 2022. In fact, President Mohamed Buhari protested the constitutionality of the controversial provision of the newly assented electoral law. Others have argued that a section of the constitution is able to disenfranchise people from vying for electoral offices. A legal practitioner, Libra Soshoma, countered this. It does not disenfranchise anybody because the provision of the constitution actually limits participation for civil servants. That if you are in the employment of the government of the federation or of the state, that you cannot contest for an election except you resign one month before the election. And the Court of Appeal had heard that political office, uh, political appointees are not in, employed in the government of the Federation or of the state for the purpose of that section. And, and so once that, what that means is that if you're a political appointee, you can remain in office till even, you know, co even contest for election, you know, wise in that uh, other office. A political analyst, Olufemi Lawson, shared the same view. He insisted that a section of the law would limit the excesses of the political class. I would want to uh, say that morally, it is, I don't think we even need a law to this extent to tell you that, come, you have a, an ambition to pursue in Jigawa State, then why are you sitting in Abuja as a minister? If truly you are a very serious candidate. One of those vying for the highest seat in government is the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo. There are questions about how his latest ambition could cause a divided attention in carrying out his current duties as the nation's second in command. The VP's attention certainly would be divided just the same way a sitting president who is vying for a re-election's attention will be divided. So, and the question is, what we should do is to ensure that there is proper monitoring, not just a divided attention, to ensure that the job and the functions of that office is properly carried out. The truth is that pursuing a political ambition is a natural dis distraction. Politicians will continue to aspire for other higher positions. Politicians will continue to even demand for what they do not deserve. But it is the duty of you and I to say, no, you don't deserve it. So those who have had competent ministers as deputies should hand over to them, brief them. Those who have not had should use the next few days to get them carried along so that the duties of state will not suffer. INEC has given political parties between April 4 and June 3, 2022 to conduct primaries. This means that public office holders seeking to be elected must resign before June 3rd when INEC expects that all issues on party primaries must have been resolved. Meanwhile, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, ought to have issued a secular stating a deadline on when they should resign. But he has not, as President Buhari has not given directives to do so. Nigerians are watching to see how this pans out. Jacinta Ubuku, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.